Really? Yes, I'm happy. Because we ain't the first one. some of our favorite things to do at Universal Studios Mardi Gras. Woo! The first order of business is going to be picking up our um, annual pass. Because we want to do this kind of like on a budget, we are going to, uh, well, we did the FlexPay. And for people who do not know, uh, FlexPay is where you make a down payment. I think it's like $400. It was like $400. And then you got to pay... 36 a month. 36 a month. And that's for the highest level, which has Express After 4. Right, the Premier Pass. But however, if you do the FlexPay, you have to pick up the annual pass at... Um, the ticket booth. At the ticket booth. You can't pick it up. I don't know why they have it like that. You cannot pick it up at the resort unless you have paid for it out of pocket. Hi right, guys, we made it into the park through the EPA check gate. And now we are on our way to the mummy. We are so excited because we did not get to actually get on this ride the last time we were here because it was closed actually until the end of summer. So let's go and see what's up to. Okay, so we gotta wait a little while. The mummy is not open for EPA. We should have looked that up. We should have looked that up. I put that on me. Uh, so we're gonna go to Gringotts and get on that ride and hit up Diagon Alley. Did I say it right? Diagon Alley. What she said. Look, babe. Fast and furious. <laughs> Last time we were here, we didn't ride the Hogwarts Express back from islands. We will do it this time. Absolutely. No beats will be missed. <laughs> Gringotts, 15 minutes. Oh, say less. Let's go. everything and more. Gringotts is literally one of my favorite rides at the here at the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. We're here in Diagon Alley. I know that you all have seen it earlier, but just so you all know, when you come here, you have to put your belongings into lockers if they're bigger than my fanny pack. Um, typically, we put Carl's, lock, Carl's book bag into one of the large lockers, average about four or five dollars per locker. So that way we can record for you all. Just want to give a correction on the quote. For a bigger locker, it is $2 for a bigger locker. And for the smaller locker, like if you have like a fanny pack, you know, wallet, or um, those um, souvenir cups, or those uh, Coca-Cola style free freestyle cups, those lockers are free. They but come. you have to make sure you dump your drink before you. Oh yes, like definitely make sure you dump your drink. Do not put your drink cups in a locker when it has like, you know, liquids. water or liquids, any type of stuff on it, you'll be amazed on how many people make that little mistake. So we have our butter beer. 
there, as you can see by my stash. It's just crazy. We waited all year just to come back to the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. Like, this butterbeer has been on my mind every day since last year. I'm so happy that I got it. Definitely a must every time you come to Universal Studios Orlando. That suit was made for me. Usually I see them playing a part with Rose. I'd be the flyest wizard in all of Hogwarts if I wore that suit. It was made for me. Don't you agree? I guess. I mean, you'd be flying in that thing. Yeah. But I mean. Like, look at the buttons on that. You couldn't tell me nothing. Huh? Can I take a Niffler home? That's what you want. How much it go? <laughs> Always worried about the price. That's $20. $20 for a Go ahead, you can go ahead and get it if you want to. I'll come back for that. <laughs> <laughs> So now we are on our way to ride the mummy, finally. Finally. Yes. Then afterwards, we're gonna hit up the tribute store, so we so can go we pick up. Yeah, so we can go pick up our uh, Mardi Gras freestyle cups and our lanyards. Yes. Oh, we need to go pick up our annual pass lanyards. And oh, our right, 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 right. Yeah. Is that free? Yeah, it's free. just now getting off of Jimmy Fallon and it is everything it's one of my favorite rides to go cool off in because the AC is always blasting in there especially definitely. on a hot day yes but definitely is a ride that you should get on people always sleep on it Universal is always like also known for like their characters right now we are walking past Homer from the Simpsons uh, I think we're gonna see like Shaggy and the gang Scooby-Doo and some, uh, what other characters do they have? Dora. Oh, Dora. Dora, SpongeBob. There's a tree on the way out of City Walk that people throw beads on to after the Mardi Gras parade. Isn't that cool? So we just went and grabbed our Universal Mardi Gras souvenir freestyle cup. This one is a little bit pricier than your average freestyle cup. This was $28. We could have got two for $15 according to the um, the clerk inside the store but basically all of the coca-cola machines that you see around the park you can fill up these cups with any beverage that you like for the entire day and you can actually extend it for each day throughout your stay and if you and here's a little hack if you don't want to activate your cup you can actually just get water so for free for free so we'll be having some water and today we'll be having uh, probably some little carbonated beverages because it's active. Try to hit up maybe today or tomorrow the horror makeup show. Um, I've never been, I don't think. Have you been? No, I've never been. Yeah, so we both of us have not been, so I think it'll be pretty cool for us to experience that. Um, I think the show runs every 15 to 20 minutes, if I'm not mistaken, but I will verify that. I'm guilty of what 
loving crepes. Yeah, these crepes are delicious. This is like the best breakfast spot. And we ever. got the Nutella strawberry. The hazelnut strawberry. Yeah, yeah. It's Nutella with um with strawberries in it, pretty much. Yeah. A whole bunch of cream. It's so delicious. We have to get our own because last time we tried to share and somebody ate all the, all the crap. I'm crepes. guilty of that. I am guilty of that. Yes, yes you are. Yeah, um the crepe didn't make it. If anytime when you all want to come here and like this is pretty much good for like breakfast because there are not a lot of breakfast places that are open, yes. but going to Central Crepes and getting the strawberry Nutella hazelnut, it is, it would definitely fill you up. It's a good size. Depending upon how picky of an eater you are, if you can share, you can share it. Me, I just take this whole thing to myself. trying to offer me some more of your because she couldn't finish it all it's not a lot left. I'm stuck that the one I had I'm I'm stuck I pick my strawberries out it was just like, strawberries are the best part I know I said I'm about to pick the strawberries out oh I, I thought you said strawberries. like pick it out like she's not gonna eat it no. like what my betrayal betrayal so Jasmine tried to burn me. I did not try to burn you. <laughs> because, well, yeah, we both forgot sunblock, and I burn really easily. So we had to go and spend with uh, $17 for the sunblock here at the Universal uh, store. Yeah. So definitely, it's going to be a hot day today. I think the high is 84 degrees. But yeah, definitely need that sunblock because I'm going to be just burnt. I'm already starting to turn red. And just to think, we haven't even made it to islands yet. Like, what are some things you want to do on islands, babe? Velocicoaster, Hagrid's, if we can. If we can. That's a big if. <laughs> um, and what else is over there? Jurassic, Jurassic. River, River Adventure. Yes. It is hot enough for it. It definitely is. And wow, guys, traffic is trafficking. It's it really busy. Yeah, it is. As the crowds start to pick up, Universal has definitely done a lot of provisions to ensure that everyone will still be able to enjoy their stay and their visit. So basically, what they have done is extend the park hours from typical close at 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. to typical from typical open from 10 a.m. to 9 a.m. with the early park admission time of 8 a.m. We were able to do so much stuff this morning. Matter of fact, we were so early <laughs> that we got in before 8 a.m. Roll Green Gods and stood in line for the mummy not to get on the mummy. <laughs> so, take that information, do what you want. <laughs> So we made a hop and a skip over to Islands of Adventure and we had to get on Hagrid's. Hagrid's is by far probably one of the best rides here, I'm being biased. Uh, we are going to get on Velocicoaster, but Hagrid's definitely puts you in the fields of free falling, especially when it goes up and it runs out of track and it goes backwards. But I mean, it doesn't put you in the space of free falling more than Velocicoaster. Yeah, that's that's you true. Actually... That is that is true. That's so hardly true, but it, it is definitely a great ride. However, the wait time is long. Two hours waiting on Hagrid's is actually not bad. Exactly, that's just not why bad. I want to sit down right now. Yeah, which, 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 we, <laughs> which we are because you heard the girl. So, our favorite YouTubers talk about this place in studio, in, in not in studios, an island is called green eggs and ham and they have they're supposed to have really good tots 
Oh, he done stole my food. And so we ordered the carnitas tots to share, and it's really tasty. It's yeah, very tasty. Very, yeah, very yeah, tasty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very tasty. We can share. And so the pulled pork is really good, and the way that the the tots crunch, they were fried to perfection. Absolutely. This is, this is going really well. I think their favorite one is the, pe is it the pepperoni? I think it's the pepperoni. I know they talked about this one, but I think their favorite is the pepperoni. Mm -hmm. Shout out to the Pew 2. They know their stuff. They also like the buffalo tops. They always get those. Oh yeah. Yeah. The I think that's chicken. Tyler's favorite. It might be. Yeah, but this is, this is good. Let me get in there. It's just been such a long day. We've accomplished so much in such a short amount of time. We literally probably ran through the park, but not intentionally. And we did it so strategic that now we have time to legit sit down and chill. What do we do for the rest of the night? Literally, we have until 10 o'clock and it's seven. Well, the good news is that the Mardi Gras parade is gonna start soon. So maybe we're gonna get to watch a little bit of that. went on our first like group trip to Universal Orlando's you know last year for my birthday and so we were like okay we're gonna get on the Velocicoaster and so Carl's like I'm riding the motorcycle I'm gonna ride the motorbike biggest mistake of my life <laughs> let me tell you y'all we got to the top <laughs> we got to the top of the thing and this man started flailing. He was like, ah, ah, ah. Why you guys tell them my business like that? But I mean, like, I just need to let them know that you have vowed to never ride the bike again in your life. Sidecar me in every single ride. Sidecar. But it's okay because I love being on the bike. You can have that. You can have that. It's so much fun. Hey, babe. Hmm? You want to get on Rip Ride Rocket? Hmm. No. <laughs> no. Why you gotta be like that? It's too tall. Y'all, why can't I get this man to get on Rip Ride Rocket? I'm not getting on that. He's such a chicken. I get on Veloc I get on any other ride but that. But I mean, Velocicoaster is almost the equivalent almost, of Rip almost Ride Rocket. And almost as different than the same. But I mean, like, Velocicoaster shoots you up about four, five, six times. And Rip Ride Rocket probably is just like a creeping on around right see it's the creeping that gets me fine Give us we just got to the room it is 11 40 40 something we had one heck of a day um, yeah our feet are killing us I do not recommend what we just did today oh my god uh, yeah so we're gonna get cleaned up and tomorrow we're gonna have more in store for you guys so uh, as she finished eating her pizza, I'm going to get cleaned up and we're going to have a wonderful day tomorrow. Stay tuned for part two. So she wants to open up that $7 bottle of Fiji water. Yes, I'm going to do it. You're and 
First of all, I want to say uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> so, so first of all, I want to tell her no, but that feed you water look good when you've been walking in this hot park <laughs> all day. You still eating that same stale pizza? It's <laughs> <laughs> real tragic. Oh, man, oh my God, this pizza was like cafeteria style. I ain't lying. <laughs> I'm tired. This is straight up for all my Western WIU folks. This is Thompson Pizza, bro. Just straight up Thompson. <laughs> I can't do this again, Jasmine. I'm tired. We gonna be it. Good night, y'all.